How's it going, everybody? I'm Steve Ninja, and I have some new criterion to show. Stay tuned. So I actually have four titles to show tonight. Uh, the first two are actually new, and I actually bought directly from Criterion. And the last two I actually bought from eBay. So I kind of mixed it up a little bit. Uh, I don't normally buy stuff from Criterion directly unless it's like the flash sale. But this particular time, there was kind of uh, circumstances I kind of wanted to do it more uh, because I had to get some new cases for the, the used ones I bought. And I and I've, I had some others that, that had like crack cases before, so I thought this was kind of the time to finally do that. But So the first one I have in this haul is actually the oldest one. Uh, this was released in 1959. It's spine number 950 and directed by Billy Wilder. The movie is Some Like It Hot. For me, the, this movie, uh, one big reason to buy this is actually for Marilyn Monroe. It's a, She passed away like three years after this. So, you know, it's, it obviously has a Jack Lemmon and Tony Curtis. They play these two characters, and you'd have, to, you'd have to actually see the movie to see why they're, you know, why they're dressed like this, you know. <laughs> so this is actually the third one I have from Billy Wilder. I have uh, Ace in the Hole and Double on Indemnity, and I, I really would like to get The Apartment on Blu-ray as well, but uh, that one, I, I I wish that Criterion would get that movie in, in their collection, and I think the, the license is really hard to get. It's probably the probably his most popular movie, but, uh, you know, Jack Lemmon's in that movie as well. I thought this movie was funny. I, I've actually been listening to the commentary tonight, like the first hour of it. So it's done by like a historian and it has like a kind of sound bites from Jack Lemmon kind of talking about uh, how he, how he wanted to work with Billy Wilder and how he, you know, he worked on Billy Wilder again after this one. So, so the second movie in this hall is actually one I've not seen quite a while. It's released in 1987, spine number 1173. And the movie is Hollywood Shuffle. This movie was directed by Robert Townsend. He's actually the star of the movie as well. And he co-wrote the movie with Keenan Ivory Wayans. If you remember the TV show In Living Color, Keenan was like a star of that show. And his brother Damon Wayans was actually in that show as well. And he's one of the, I guess he's in this movie as well. Like I said, I have not seen this in quite a while. So I, I, I don't remember how much he's in that movie. Uh, maybe just a few scenes possibly. But, but I can't wait to watch this one. So the third movie in this hall is one I've never seen before. This is released 1989. It's spine number 54. This is, it's one of the really early ones. And the movie is For All Mankind. This one's directed by Al Reiner, it looks like. Uh, it, uh, this is one I got from eBay for like $10. Uh, it's a, it's on Blu-ray. Uh, there's actually a 4K of this now on, on Criterion. But apparently it, it has like the, like Apollo mission astronauts that kind of get interviewed throughout. Uh, or it might be like old, old footage from them. But uh, I don't know exactly what's going to happen on this one. But uh, it would be kind of interesting to find out though. So the fourth title is one I've, I've seen before, but it's probably been since like 2001. This is Spine Number 151, and the movie is Traffic. This movie was directed by Steven Soderbergh, and, and it has like a ton of stars in it. <laughs> you know, for a, it's definitely like a Hollywood kind of movie, but it's I, they, I, I'm, I've got like 13 people written down here, but it's, there were actually quite a few more that I didn't write down. But so Benicio del Toro actually won an Oscar for this. It has a uh, Michael Douglas, Luis Guzman, Topher Grace. Erica Christensen, Catherine Zeta-Jones, Albert Finney, Stephen Bauer, Amy Irving, Viola Davis, and Benjamin Bratt are just, uh, just to name some of the people in the cast. Like I said, I haven't seen this movie in a long time. It's like 147 minutes. I remember liking it back then, but it's just like, it, it's, I think it was something I maybe rented at, at the time. And I never really thought about buying it before, but uh, like, it, like I said, it's been on my list for a long time. When I saw it on eBay, I thought I finally got to get this one. So that's it for this haul. If you like this content, please put a like on my video. I love collecting Criterions, and I love getting, you know buying new and used Criterions. It all depends on like the condition the movies are in, but uh, but uh, I, I I plan on getting more Criterions here. And you know, hopefully Barnes and Noble has a sale in July. It's a it sound like some Barnes and Nobles are, are have have stopped selling Criterions, so we'll see what happens there. I think a lot of the big ones still you know still sell them, but. Uh, but like uh, some of the smaller stores, I think have kind of gotten rid of them. But but uh, hopefully we still have a sale on July. So uh, please uh, consider subscribing to my channel and have a good night. Thank you. Bye.